Based on police reports, they have found some accessories in an old Hope Road building. The police have mentioned that they seized 48 accessories on Hold Hope Road, Kingston 6, during a recent operation. The police have said that a search warrant was executed at a premises around 10 a.m. on March 19th. And an unfinished building on the compound was searched and the 5.6 mm accessories were discovered. Based on their reports as well, no one was arrested in connection with the seizure of these dangerous accessories. Police officers have seized a dangerous tool along with accessories to match in Linstead, St. Catherine. The Linstead police have reported that they seized a dangerous tool during an operation in the Van Fair housing scheme in St. Catherine on March 19th. Based on what the police mentioned, between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m., an operation was carried out in the housing scheme when a brown paper bag was found with a Sig Sawyer 9mm dangerous tool fitted with an accessory containing 14. No one was arrested in relation to the seizure. Six of 39 individuals that were being held in police custody have been released. Attorney at law is at Buchanan filed a writ of habeas corpus in the St. Catherine Parish Court on behalf of two individuals who were detained among 37 persons who were held in a pre dawn operation at a popular guest house in Discovery Bay, Senan, on Wednesday. The matter was set to be heard in a court on Thursday, but the men were quickly released by the police. They were wrongfully detained and denied the right to counsel. He also said that he placed a formal complaint with the attorneys for the Office of the Commissioner of Police alleging that he was denied access to his clients, Green and Gabidon. Both of these individuals were being held at the Tamarin Farm Detention Facility that was used to detain persons during the states of emergency. He said that he sent an email to the attorneys for the Commissioner of Police after being told it was now the practice of the Jamaica Constabulary Force to detain persons for 72 hours without the right to see a lawyer. According to Isaac Buchanan, the men were questioned without access to their lawyer, so he sought redress in the parish court. He said that a judge gave him an audience and facilitated a habeas corpus application. Akili Green is from Monique Teachers College, while Gabidon is employed as a director at a block factory. These two men were gainfully employed and were questioned in breach of the constitution. The law is clear the police cannot detain a citizen beyond 24 hours without seeking permission from a judge. It is illegal to question a citizen and deny them rights to counsel after they have requested one. No arm of the state is above the constitution. It is illegal and it is dangerous and it is a breach of a citizen's constitutional right to privacy to demand that you open your phone so that the police can search it. There is also legislation and procedures that are in place that ensures that the police follow these practices. Buchanan also said that his clients were considering legal action against the state for unlawful detention and breaches of their constitutional rights. 36 of the 39 persons who were held have been released by the police. One was held on suspicion of gaining money through false pretense, while another, who is a Don Saul artist, is being held pending further investigations in relation to some serious activities, including a triple passing in Senan in the year 2020. And information coming in, two members of the Jamaica Defense Force have been charged with some serious issues after causing harm to a trainee at the Park Camp facility. Two Jamaica Defense Force employees have been charged with breaches of the Serious Act following an incident at the JDF headquarters at Park Camp in San Andrew on Thursday, March 11th. The two individuals are Grant of a St. Mary address, along with Moncrief of a St. Catherine address. Reports are that at 8.30 p.m., the complainant was a JDF trainee, along with another individual, were at an abandoned building when Grant and Moncrief entered. It is further alleged that both employees demanded money from the complainant and her companion and subsequently sent the companion to get the money. It is further alleged that Grant had some serious relations with the young lady against her will 
and forced her to carry out some serious activities as well, while the other person watched. Following the incident, the matter was reported to Jamaica Constabulary Forces Center for the investigation of these serious acts. On Thursday, March 18th, Grant was charged with these serious matters and he also was charged with taking items by force while Moncrief was charged with aiding and abetting these serious activities. Both of these individuals are scheduled to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday, March 29th. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the matters that have been discussed in this session. Take care of yourself. Remember to remain vigilant, alert and be safe. Take care of yourself. Remember that your security must be your top priority. Take care. Be good. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.